It's time we headed up to the southeastern quadrant. So actually, around this time, we've also recorded up in Spirit Tracks when we meet the Gorons, and this is around the same time we meet them in Phantom Hourglass. Oh, yay. Roughly the same point. It's also the time we, we drive straight first into pirates. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to, like, transport them on the boat. Just take a big old rock to the ocean. <laughs> so, uh, are you... Now, you said run into the pirates, not bully them, right? They attacked first. <laughs> Is what I'm gonna tell the cops. <laughs> the boat police out there like, oh, that's not gonna do at all. So just keep blasting them. The small ones, I, th I think, take three hits. The big ones take, like, five. While waiting for them to sink. <laughs> we probably saw this before, but you notice the big one actually dropped a ship part, which you can pull back up with a salvage arm. Oh, the skeleton of a man. No, it's a ship part. <laughs> Put that on the prow. <laughs> you could. You know, like, some ships have, like, a mermaid in front of it. We have our victims. <laughs> Pizza Joe thinks ahead, you see. When he sees that ghost ship again, he's like, Are you really the ghost ship, though? Have you seen my hull? And we have a new enemy. It's a shark. Oh. I think they're technically called Gjorgs. Like the boss from Majora's Mask. <laughs> wow. That's a cute little nod. Ooh, Golden Prow. We can use this as a weapon against the Gjorg. Yeah, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I ain't dying. Not after that. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna head to the next treasure. <laughs> Look, Pizza Joe sees that his boat is on fire, and he still thinks that it's a better birthday than any other one he had before it. We've also got... What was the name of the eyeball Pokémon? The flying eyeballs? Ah, oh, the flying eyeballs. Uh... Like they're in black and white. God damn, that's the one I played the least. <laughs> I'm also dodging Jolene. <laughs> Well, it's basically that. Except you shoot them. You guys in the comments will know. Oh, you mean you guys didn't know it was Squabbly Boo Boo? Yeah, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. No, this is interesting. It's an island shaped like the classic DS. I love that. And the layout of the classic DS is important to finding some treasure on it. And I was playing it on a 3DS, so it did not help me. Oh. You're telling me the Phantom Hourglass developers did not have 4D vision and could see the 3DS coming? It's even called DS Island. <laughs> now, there is a minigame on this island later, but we have to go through the Goron Temple before it'll be available to us. But we can dig around for some treasure in the meantime. I'm really hoping that Pizza Joe runs into himself here. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the question mark, like, snake nest? Probably? Doesn't Zelda call them ropes anyway? I, I think you might be right. But then again, I don't know how the player would react if they were like, you hit a rope's nest. Like, what? <laughs> Fuck your patience. <laughs> well, what if I came here without a shovel? Well, I guess you live here with me now, boy. <laughs> How'd you get this far in the game? I do like that the little dirt spots are exactly where the audio speakers are on the DS. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I saw an original DS. <laughs> Let's see, I had the original for years until I got a DS Lite, and I believe, for the most part, other than 
that it doesn't have that giant like bottom part it's relatively the same if memory serves correct I remember my original DS. I lost it in high school when it took a Pepsi bath in my backpack. Aww. <laughs> I don't know why, it's probably because I'm thirsty, but I would not mind trying that. <laughs> a Pepsi bath, I mean. I don't mean, like, dying in your backpack. When you're so thirsty, you'll risk it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do it. I'll feel sticky, but... Thirst quenched. With the sodas that make you thirstier. <laughs> yeah! Look, I didn't say it was a good plan. He backhanded me. <laughs> At the same time when you killed that monster, so it made that smack sound more impactful. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But we're not done here yet. There is another gem here. And it's pretty well hidden if you don't have the original DS, which I don't. I think this guy's gonna tell me. The menu button. The 3DS does not have the menu button in the same place. So I had to go searching around. I think I looked up an image on Google or something for the original. It's way down in this corner. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, there had to have been something online. I can't imagine they put in a feature and if you don't happen to have that handheld, the game just soft locks or something. It's almost like you can get it at a local store for 159 or something. Let's get out of here. Oh, he's running away, piece of shit. Whatever, he'll come back when we reload, after we get this salvage. I haven't shown this in a while. Yeah. I like the music, even though I know it's just because it's sped up. I think I just wanted to show it because I get all the rupees. Is there, like, a bonus for that, or is it just just to show off? You get more rupees. Oh, <laughs> I mean, other than that, like, hey, great job there, you get an extra ten rupees. Says God. <laughs> the meager cannon. I don't know if I'd call that meager. Now, this is a quite useful traveler ship. Still looking around for the frog. He'll be back. Got my eyes on that frog. Must be the flying eyeballs again. <laughs> the flying Pokemon, yes. Wind Waker fans might recognize these guys. Ah, yes, they were the people who somehow knew about Triforce pieces. They're called the Ho-Ho people. Or something like that. <laughs> and he's got pink eye. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that true? Oh my god, it is! We are the Ho-Ho people from Way Away Island. Now these guys will buy treasure. Only one specific kind every day. But for way more than he would have gotten if he sold it to the treasure guy. Like, this Goron Amber, he's gonna buy one for over 1,100 rupees. Wow. I had no idea this was a thing. Or that everybody... It wasn't just one guy, it's just that there's a lot of cousins, I'm assuming. You know, that's a wall, right? You don't have to... <laughs> Looks like we got a side quest. <laughs> Moves the telescope aside. Ah, yes, the naked eye, a.k.a. this one. What do you mean it's pink eye? Damn it, it's clothed. <laughs> I 
Let's avoid Jolene if we can. <laughs> if possible, maybe we could do a donut or two, but that might trigger a fight. I do wonder how she tracks, uh, well, I'm assuming she just, she's programmed to go directly where you are, not necessarily to follow the lines you draw. It's hard to tell. I think she's going to see me from here. Yep. <laughs> it's a good thing I activated my speed rudders every time I see you. Oh yeah, I have that. I think I'm supposed to jump over them. But it's kind of futile. <laughs> that would make sense, but I feel like she'll just get faster somehow. <laughs> this has never worked once, but this time... My sword is on fire! <laughs> Huh. Next time I come back, I'll set myself on fire. Then we'll see. Th then we'll see what? You'll see! He stole that. Hang on, give that back. Here you go. <laughs> Empty can of tuna, just for you. I don't even eat tuna. Don't even know how I got there. Oh yeah, I stole that from a friend too. <laughs> Is it wrong to steal garbage? You're ignoring me again. <laughs> Let me lay in on a sacred piece of Joe. Nothing of mine is mine. <laughs> this ship? Not mine. This false arm? Not mine. These dreams, not mine. Oh boy, God! <laughs> All right, this is the Omega C, I guess, <laughs> and that's a shit version of it. There we go. Hey, close enough. God damn it! Where do you come from? You see the pink one, that one actually drops a red ruby. I do like that they're just kind of spawning in a conga line, though. Ah, uh, he ran away. Oh, look, Goron Amber. How much is he? Okay, that's not bad. Well, not bad, because you're rich. I'm like twice as much selling it to the ho ho guy. Yeah, so everybody wins. And buying that also got me to silver membership. Is he gonna mail it to you in the in the post box again? Yep, same old shit. <laughs> you know you could just hand it to me. It's not more special because you send it to my house. Oh, we can't meet a new people until something stupid happens. <laughs> Whoa. I think that was really stupid just now. <laughs> Choking on Diesel. <laughs> ah, kid! I'm Lincoln! What? <laughs> what do we do with it? Oh, attack it. Yeah, it seems to be the default option to all we do. No, actually, why, why don't we just try the salvage arm? Oh, jeez. Oof. So this fight takes a little while just because of the distance. I forget, but can you not move the ship here? No. Linebeck says he'll man the machinery, which is code for the usual thing of I won't actually do anything. <laughs> he gets on his lawn chair and he starts sipping from his little drink. Or at least if you shoot the energy balls, you get health back. 
Oh, that's good. It's really not any different than that plant we fought earlier, except this time we can't move. Yeah, it also reminds me of the giant squid fights, but at least, like, you were at the mercy of a whirlpool. Here, you can't move because Linebeck says so. Oh, now we're giving it pink eye. While also removing said eye. <laughs> Just <laughs> splat. <laughs> Salvage it, we're putting that on the front of the ship. <laughs> yeah, that'll that'll go right next to our skeleton. It won't fit, but still. Alright, finally we've reached score on island. Going with a the classic theme, I see. It sounds slightly higher, though. I don't trust you with a sword, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have had many swords in my life. Listen, I, I have a nose for this sort of thing. You know what it smells? Oxygen. Primarily. Can you use a sword with your nose? No. Guess you're not that great of swordsman then. Well, that was weird. I'll literally be off screen. <laughs> nah, I'm right here. Don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. <laughs> Member Silver. Damn. Ooh, free. <laughs> I wonder if he actually had to say parentheses, ooh, free parentheses. Thank you for letting me insert yourself into your private life. I don't think I've seen many characters, like, welcoming outsiders and being like, Wow, you should parade yourself around, stranger. That's a good idea. I think we do literally have to talk to every Goron. I mostly went inside to reset the area, because I have another letter I'm waiting for. I wonder how come you can only get one letter at a time. I remember in Wind Waker, you, if you had like a whole bunch, you just get them all at once, spitting them out at you. Because that was Wind Waker. Well, that's true. The DS only has one envelope technology, after all. Found this in a fish. <laughs> it was a really big envelope. <laughs> At least it's nice to know that the Gorons actually have their own island this time. I mean, they have their own volcano and spare tracks. <laughs> they at least have that. I, I'm, I was referring more to in Wind Waker, how it's just like three on a raft. Separately. This is where they all ended up. <laughs> And all they do is have pointless side quests where they trade each other the same things every day. Salvatore's the guy running the boat shooting gallery. We got the heart piece for that one already, right? I think so. If anything, I'm never going back. 
<laughs> well, we got ten wisdom gems, so we can upgrade... What's-her-face? Blue, green, fairy. With the only non-Goron on Goron Island. <laughs> Yellow Potion is a full heal. Oh. Also got Bomb Chews. But we don't have a Bomb Chew bag yet. Oh, jeez. What way to tell us the dungeon item? Bomb Chews are also something that works surprisingly well with a touchscreen. <laughs> Maybe pizza sauce, huh? <laughs> I haven't run into my sister yet, and I'm glad. <laughs> In killing Lineback. <laughs> It was funny, she thinks she's a pirate, and or prettier than me. The person who hasn't used their legs in over 14 years. But I've got an old crusty man letting me hang out in a pool. She's out trying to kill hers. <laughs> I think I win. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the winner. In fact, go reset the island again, I have a second envelope for you. <laughs> Dear Pizza Joe, I win. That's not an enemy, that's Beetle. It's expensive Beetle. Oh. So Masked Beetle only shows up between 10 p.m. to midnight on weekdays, or 10 in the morning to noon on weekends. It's kind of a weird schedule. Do you mean like by the DS internal clock? Yeah. Oh my god. So you can set it to that time and it'll show up. Right. He does sell a heart container, a courage gem, and some expensive ship parts. Good lord. <laughs> you know, if you want to trick pirates, or you want to increase the chance of encountering them. One thousand and one reasons why I'm not gonna buy that. And we're in our second row of heart containers. Finally. You've regained those hearts. A good thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't get points for Beetle, and you can't use the freebie card when it's this Beetle. It only works for the regular shop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't trust any memberships when I'm wearing the beetle helmet. Ow. Being kinda careful. Supposedly. <laughs> I'm doing this for a reason, I'm not sure which. Oh, I see. I was trying to get the pirates to actually get onto my ship, because something special happens when you do. Mm, okay. Uh, I was going along with what you were doing, and I thought Pizza Joe just wanted a challenge. It's a real pirate this time. <laughs> now I need you to date them like you dated Jolie. They're mini blends. And there they go. Wow. They're more dangerous on their own boats. Alright, now we've got ten Courage Gems. So we can also upgrade Sila. <laughs> you know, you and Courage Gems are not... They're, they shouldn't be in the same sentence, Linebeck. Oh shit, more pirates. Getting out of here. <laughs> Going up. <laughs> and you're coming with me. Just spits on the door and it opens. 
Spitui. Before, your fairy was stupid, but now... Oof. You know when the toilet splashes you. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> so now Spirit of Wisdom boosts our defense. We've got blue highlights around our health. That means we take half damage. That's really cool. I actually like these fairy upgrades. And I'm upset that I never took advantage of any of these. They're pretty useful. I am going to stick with the Spirit of Power. Because it's generally more useful. But there will be a couple times where I'll switch to the other ones to show them off. Sila's special ability. I need to actually equip her first. She gives me the sword beams. Cool. But I bet you still need to be at full health to use it. I don't actually think so. It'd be stupid if you did, because you had to work for this. And like I mentioned, there's still ten more of each gems, so they will get a second upgrade. If anything, I'd stick to the fire sword. I don't take that much damage, but I like doing more damage. <laughs> it seems the coolest anyways. And got another island. This is another minigame island. This one, there's quite a bit of treasure you can get here. It's RNG based, which can be obnoxious. Oh. There are actually four treasure maps you can find here. You can only find two of them at a time, or at least only two at this point in the game, then you can find two later. The idea with this is, you pay 50 rupees, then you can dig anywhere on the island. As soon as you find ten treasures, then you have to stop, reload the area, and try again. The treasures include the treasure maps, rupees, and rupors. You remember those? Yeah, I remember those. It's not too bad when you find them, but it, I wish it was easier to find the treasure maps. And again, this is RNG. They're not going to be in any specific place. You just got to keep trying till you find them. So it's always RNG dependent every time you load here? Yeah. You can make a decent bit of money, at least. Yeah. I do like that it's a... It's hey! A, wow. It's a tiny detail, but I do like that when you actually find something, it makes a little dink noise, like you hit something. Yeah. It didn't take me a day to find this. I had to do a few tries, but... It'll eventually load in through a uh, battle of attrition. Alright. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad they still they did that for the... Did it Make quite a profit, though. If you try to dig up more, they'll be really annoyed with you. <laughs> they'll actually throw you off the island. I mean, I have to leave the island to reload it anyway. <laughs> and don't come back! Hey, welcome back. I feel like getting on the ship and then coming back is faster than saving and reloading. I would imagine, because you would have to wait for the title screen to come up and then reselect your save file. Well, let's also go fishing. 
There's another type of fish I can catch now that I haven't gotten yet. I do genuinely like fishing minigames, well, when they're done well. It looks different. It's not big. It's not as big as the Luvar. Oh boy, be careful. <laughs> I remember as a kid, I legitimately spent hours in the fishing hole in Ocarina of Time. Because I liked it that much. I spent hours there trying to get the fish. <laughs> When it gets in close like this, you're only going to get a few yards at a time. It's a tuna. Bite me. Oh boy. I really hope that was the inspiration for why they eventually called him Toon Link. <laughs> Ooh, oh lordy. Luckily that's the biggest root you can find. You know, I do wonder, like... Like, I know it's, you touch it and then your money goes away, but I like to think that it actually eats 50 rupees from your bag and then explodes. <laughs> like a puff of dust. Now there's another special thing you can find here. You can find a person. <laughs> thank you! Oh, thank you! So we pay him money, we have a chance of just getting even more money. Oh, well, I hope you can breathe in there, good sir. <laughs> ah, you found me again. Like, you were just there. I did find him again. I, I, I was joking. <laughs> well, we got small last time. Let's go large. Yeah, go big or go home. Cool. And I'm going to have to go home pretty soon. Hey, go big or go home, and then I did. There he is. There's another frog over here. I don't know why, because once you've cleared out this particular island that I'm next to, you don't really come back. Strange. Wonder why they went the extra mile to. <laughs> I like how it looks like bat teeth, but <laughs> they went the extra mile to give another location just for this one island. I thought it looked more like a W with a toupee. <laughs> Staying above a thousand. Not for any particular reason. Just for the sake of money. Another meager cannon. Well, now I find it to be meager. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. There are so many. <laughs> You're wrecking the salvage arm, kid. Well, you wrecked your life. All right. Good point, but mean. And you're wrecking what I've salvaged of my life. <laughs> in fact, it jumps in the ocean. Go get me! <laughs> well, luckily I got the swim ring, so I just toss it after him. <laughs> but it's really heavy because it's an anchor. Well, with all the treasure I have, let's go back to this guy. I feel like I mentioned it. The price of the treasures and the ship parts that you've got are randomized every time you start a new game. I believe you did. And I believe I mentioned how miserable it would be to be this person. Well, look at how big his mouth is, but how tiny his jaw is. Look at that meager cannon, 1500. Wow. Let's sell the other one. I'm not going to add them to my ship. <laughs> nah. 
Is there like an encyclopedia that like registers all the pieces and parts you picked up? Nothing like that. You just have to remember the price. Ah. So I was wondering, I don't think that would go against like 100% or anything. Hmm. I kind of like my demonic crustacean ship, so I'm going to hang on to that. Yeah, it's pretty rad right now. The regular treasures are never going to cost that much. Nah, I can get more from the ho-ho guys. <laughs> wow. A crown from a specific race? 50 rupees. A long extinct race, too. Yeah, because I don't see any of them. Even in this parallel area of sorts. You hear that, Queen of England? Your crown is a goddamn trifle. <laughs> 50 pounds, no more. Oh, he's not buying them anyway. My ass. Really? <laughs> Pizza Joe pokes <laughs> out the other eye and it gets big too. That's just, like, a shot of some farmland. It's a weird painting. <laughs> but next time we will actually explore the Goron Island and the temple. It's going to be one of the longer parts. But it's a pretty fun temple, actually. Yeah, I think I remember the mechanic of that temple, and I, I did enjoy it, surprisingly. Not like I'm a big critic of, like, Zelda dungeons or anything. <laughs> Since then, I've said a lot of things about Gorons back in the day. Well, luckily for you, I don't remember. <laughs> it wasn't anything controversial or like, whoa, Yoshi, reel it in there. It was like, I, I don't particularly care about this race of creatures. I do know in one of the Spirit Tracks parts, you did say, yeah, they should probably die for being stupid. <laughs> Damn it, they're going to dig that up and use that against me whenever those parts are uploaded. In like the second half of the year. <laughs> People have long forgotten about this by then. <laughs>